TCL's next paper 4.0 technology was announced alongside the TCL 60 series all the way back in January 2025, but until today, we haven't had a single phone debut with the technology. Only the next paper 11 plus tablet that I previously reviewed. That all changes now that the TCL Next Paper 60 Ultra has launched, which is currently available throughout Europe, South America, and the Asia Pacific region for an extremely reasonable price. And while the phone itself is quite good, I've been using it as my main phone for a solid week now, and I'm quite happy with it, it's the display that really shines through. In fact, this might be my favorite display of all time, and it starts with the flicker free nature that TCL seems to have finally achieved. As we've seen from other Next Paper products, this one uses true DC dimming. This isn't DC like dimming, as you'll see on OLEDs. This is a pure DC dimmed light that simply uses voltage to reduce the amount of light produced. Imagine that. It even goes down to two nits, something only OLEDs have generally been able to achieve via PWM dimming. To me, that low light is one of the best new features of this display, as most other Next Paper phones I've used didn't get dim enough to read comfortably in bed with. This does do it, although you'll need to enable the dimmer display in the settings if you want to achieve the absolute lowest output. Regardless, there's zero flicker and it's seriously fantastic. Now, on to the dithering test. Dithering has been an issue with previous Next Paper devices, as well as plenty of LCDs out there. And while there is some dithering present under specific conditions, a lot of it is difficult to see. Let's go over why first, then we'll get into the best settings to use to reduce or even completely remove dithering. On a technical level, this panel isn't just a normal LCD with a matte screen protector on top. At the base is the LCD panel with a tilted RGB stripe configuration, but you'll notice how difficult it is to see the individual subpixels using the microscope I normally use. That's because TCL adds four additional layers on top of the LCD for maximum comfort. A blue light filter, a circularly polarized light filter, a multi-layered uh, layer that softens and scatters the light, and then a nano etched matte front layer to reduce glare and give it a paper-like look and feel. Now that you understand how many layers this microscope has to look through, you'll understand why it's so hard to see the subpixels for this test. With the out-of-the-box settings, you'll find dithering throughout the entire experience. It's part of TCL's Next Vision technologies, and they're all meant to look nice to the average person. You and I probably don't fit into that box, so go ahead and turn off all that Next Vision crap in settings and remove most of the dithering found in the OS. Next, I'd suggest switching the color space to natural or sRGB. Both options are available in display settings, and both have nearly zero dithering from what I can tell on the normal and black and white ink modes. I found some dithering on medium to dark grays, but I had a hard time identifying whether dithering was present on normal and sRGB color spaces. I'm leaning towards no dithering, and since TCL tells me there shouldn't be dithering with these settings, I'm going to chalk up the movement I see here to low light noise from the camera rather than dithering from the display. Using color ink mode with any color space produces very obvious dithering on many colors, and a lot of the reason here is because the display makes things essentially look like watercolor all the time. It's a nice effect, but not worth the added dithering for those affected by it. The fact that we got a display with no PWM dimming and seemingly no dithering of any kind blows my mind. And it feels like TCL is truly listening to feedback and doing what it can to make this display truly beautiful and comfortable for everyone. I can't tell you how many times I've stopped and just admired this display over the past week. It's seriously beautiful and has the single best black levels I've ever seen from an LCD. I honestly had no clue you could even get black levels this good from the tech without local dimming. It also has teeny tiny bezels around the left, right, and top edges with a small chin at the bottom. After four generations of development, I think TCL has a legitimate OLED competitor in terms of quality with this display. That image quality is truly superb and it looks so unique and feels like a truly new type of technology. It's also worth noting that it has official active stylus compatibility which lets you write notes and perform some functions while disabling finger input. If you like that Galaxy Note style input, that's another plus for this phone. If I'm going to nitpick things, there are a few areas where TCL could improve things a bit in future releases. 
I'd love to see some kind of RLCD or e-ink style transparency to these pixels so they can accept external light sources rather than attempting to just block it. This is good for now, and it does do an excellent job of keeping reflections down, which can lead to eye strain for some people. I also think the resolution could use a little bit of a boost, although it's hard to know how that will look with all these layers above the panel. The image here is clean, but it's soft. That, of course, is intentional since TCL is going for a more paper-like appearance. I actually think it looks more like a painting than paper, but I digress. I can definitely see some people feeling like it's too soft. I can also see the size of the display being a problem for some people. I personally always love big phones, and I think this is a fantastic size. But I also never one-hand my phone, and simply don't care about that as a function. If that's something you regularly do though, this phone is probably just too big for you. Overall, I'm incredibly impressed with this experience and absolutely enamored with the display. I highly, highly recommend it for anyone who wants a unique display experience and wants something truly flicker free. I hope this does really well for TCL and we see the tech expand to many more models in the future because it's great. If you like my work, please consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.